Well, as far as this lightweight division goes, champ, they don't come a whole lot more entertaining than Mark Jacasey had a huge win over Joseph Duffy not all that long ago, and he spins it forward here tonight. Mark Jacasey is one of those guys that's been up and down in the UFC, but he's looking to get everything headed in the right direction. He has phenomenal boxing. As you said, he's a very entertaining fighter. He has a massive build for the UFC lightweight division. A savage of a fighter is Mark Jacasey. So here he is, the former UFC interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And here's a guy who a lot of these fellow lightweights believe represents the toughest matchup for them. Just hard to know what's coming. Truly a 5 to a player. And he will look to put all those skills to good use yet again here tonight. I mean, you point to the Josh Thompson fight, the beautiful elbow that he landed to split him open. And it shows you the diversity of Tony Ferguson. And you have to remember, he was a national champion at Grand Valley State University. Right. So if he needs to, be a guy that has the ability to take you down and just brutalize you on the ground. Not only brutalize you, but he has a great ability to submit his opponent as he showed when he won the title fight, Kevin Lee. And he is most happy when he's in a fight, right? Certainly a guy who loves to train as is well documented. Just the way he attacked the knee injury rehabilitation just shows you his true colors. And I know I speak for the MMA fans around the world. Very happy to see El Kukui back in the octagon here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Doncaster, England, Mark Bone Crusher, Daniel Casey. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, six losses. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out for After the head. Oh, Jacasey gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he landed the right hand there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Lanza, Lanza right hand upstairs. 
And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, nice offering there by Tony Ferguson. We'll see if he can follow it up here, champ. I mean, he usually does. He does not let guys off the hook. Tony Ferguson is a guy that has a killer's mindset. When he gets you hurt, he's looking to finish. Nice kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, Jacase, he gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for El Kukui, Tony Ferguson. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Right into a heel hook now. Let's see if he can submit his opponent. Absolutely incredible. Oh, nice. He might get a finish here. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, right to the mouth. Grounded pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground pound combination. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Breathe, relax. I need you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. Really? Hey, you ready? You ready? So fight. Nice kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Yeah, left hook found its target. Nice loop and punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a nice strike. That was a big right hand, yeah. Nice right punch followed by a left. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Oh, big left. Oh! Can't take any of those better oh. kicks. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, Jacasey gets touched by that kick there. Really a... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, 
Big left hook there. Spinning back fist is there. Mixes it up nicely. Into oh! Chance coming in, big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Ferguson gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Content to work off of his back. His opponent better react right now before it's too late. He's gonna start to attack the triangle choke. Oh wow! Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Good work from the top here by Jacason. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Short time now in the round. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Now trying to hip us. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Strong 
bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Ferguson. Jacasey. Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Oh! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bocasha Diakese. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a 50-50.